Happy New Year. Um, today we will begin our regular meeting of the Board of Education for Monday, January 14th, 2019. We have a roll call, Mrs. Perino. Nelson? Here. Griggs? Here. Blackman? Here. Paredes? Here. Huckabee? Here. The quorum is present. Okay. Um, first on the agenda, we have audience comments. Uh, at this time, we have no one who signed up for audience comments. Would anyone who has forgotten to sign up like to make a comment? Okay, with that, we will move on to our next agenda item, which is recognition of students. One of our favorite things to do in this terrific and fabulous district. Dr. Smith. So, really happy to welcome our students from Parker Junior High today, our fabulous ladies basketball team. But we'll welcome uh, Coach Yana, who's going to introduce the young ladies, say a few words, and then we'll, we'll recognize them, call them up, and take a couple of pictures. So, Coach Yana. Thank you, Coach Smith. All right, so, Jim Moore, we're honored that you're willing to recognize us during our already packed board meeting. Basketball is not only a sport that we enjoy playing, but it's a sport that teaches fundamentals of hard work, dedication, supporting one another, and having great sportsmanship. During the season, we did not focus on highlights or special plays, but these are a few of the special moments that occurred during the seventh grade season. For the first time, sixth graders were allowed to participate on the team, and they made a tremendous impact. They demonstrated the true aspect of what student athletes can be when focused. This group of young ladies worked tirelessly to become the great team that they were during our season. Our team were 14 and 0 until we were defeated by a great James Hart team three consecutive times for a final conference record of 15 and 3. We finished second in the conference tournament and we were awarded silver medals. Parker earned the first place seed in our regional tournament and defeated Stager Columbia and finally our rival James Hart to win our first regional championship together. Parker made it to the sectional championship round where we were defeated, defeated by Frankfurt Hickory Creek. Our final record to finish the season was 17 and four. Two young ladies were selected for the all-star team and they were Aria Rose and Cyra Conway. So without further ado, I would like to introduce my young ladies who I hold very close to my heart with the sports award for outstanding performance and qualifying for the regional tournament. First, Harmony Small. Secondly, Ariel Rose. Next, Jordan Miller. Tamia Matt. Dia Jefferson. Our so proud of you guys. Thank you so much for your 
hard work now and at the basketball court, certainly in the classroom as well. the second half of the school year. Uh, this week our schools began testing for our winter map window. The students are certainly focused on the assessment and taking it very seriously and we use that data to continue to plan challenging learning experiences for all of our students. The staff will use the data to update or revise our school improvement plans and all that data and the school improvement plan updates will come to the Board of Education for discussion at our Committee of the Whole meeting on February 25th. And while this is our first full week, Back after the break, we're already approaching uh, the Martin Luther King holiday and day of service on Monday, January 21st. Uh, thank you to Laura Red Levy at the Village for inviting our District 161 students and families to, to, to participate. And thank you to all the teachers and administrators who will be getting involved as well. You can find a list of available projects on the Village website and I encourage everyone to join us for a volunteer opportunity to make our world just a little, a little bit of a better place. It should be a wonderful day. Well, last year we had a lot of students and families out, we had a lot of fun uh, at the village, just spending some time in camaraderie and, and volunteering together. So hopefully people can come out and uh, contribute to a good cause. And that's the other miracle. Fantastic. Next on your agenda, we have, uh, I think it's it, agenda uh, A, minutes of uh, levy hearing slash regular Board of Education meeting, December 10th. 2018 and executive session minutes December 10th, 2018, as well as uh, B, a FOIA request, C, a resolution designating person to prepare a budget. I will entertain a motion at this time to accept the uh, consent agenda items as presented. So moved. Second. Second. Um, Dr. Gray. First. We have a roll call, Mrs. Green. Okay, Blackman? Yes. Nelson? Yes. Huckabee? Yes. Craig? Yes. Perez? Yes, the motion is passed. Next in the agenda, we have several action items. The first is the approval of bills. Mr. Nelson? <coughs> so I reviewed the, this month's bills. Uh, I had some questions, ran and answered them uh, as usual. Uh, and I would recommend that. Uh, or I guess I would move that we accept the bill as presented in total amount of nine hundred thirty one thousand three hundred and seventy three dollars and sixty seven cents. Okay. So we have first and a second. Um, are there any questions? Who made the second? The second was Ms. Okay. Any no questions? Okay, uh, can we have a roll call, Mrs. Prino? Okay, great. Yes, Luckaby? Yes. Nelson? Yes. Blackman? Yes. Paredes? Yes, the motion is passed. Next in the agenda, we have approval of payroll. May I have a motion to approve payroll in the amount of $1,507,915.67 for the month of December as presented? So moved. Second. 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 and Mrs. Griggs. Are there any questions? We have a roll call, Mrs. Perino. Okay, Huckabee? Yes. Nelson? Yes. Blackman? Yes. Graves? Yes. Perez? Yes, and the motion is passed. Next in the agenda, uh, we have approval of personnel report. May I have a motion to approve the personnel report as presented? So moved. Second. And second, uh, Mrs. Dr. Graves. Are there any questions? Do we have a roll call, Mrs. Perino? Okay, Graves? Yes. Nelson? Yes. Blackman? Yes. Huckabee? Yes. Great. Yes, the motion is passed. And the next on the agenda, we have the 2018 investment report. 
May I have a motion to approve the annual investment report from the Bloom Township School Treasurer? So moved. Second. Are there any questions? Comments? Can we have a roll call, Mrs. Perino? Blackman? Yes. Nelson? Yes. Huckabee? Yes. Grace? Yes. Grace. Yes, and the motion is passed. Next on the agenda would be the 2019 property casual insurance rates. May I have a motion to approve the ISIC property casualty premiums for the 2019 calendar year? So Second. Are there any comments or questions? I do have one other question. Sure. That comes to mind. Um, I think if I recall when I was reviewing this, part of this for the security team and uh, security guards at Parker. Now we did, we contracted that out. So is this insurance just like a second coverage? Is it as if it we're named and assumed or some sort? So is that? Yeah, it, it, you know, since this is our first year going with the company, I thought for the cost, it was probably <coughs> worth it to find it for one more year while we take a look and see how this goes with the contractual company. But the company itself does. But the have company insurance. itself does have its own insurance policy. Right. Yes, this would be covering over a top hat. Thank you. Okay. Um, any further questions or comments? Do we have a roll call, Mrs. Perino? Nelson. Yes. Briggs. Yes. Blackman. Yes. Huckabee. Yes. Paredes. Yes. And the motion is passed. Next on the agenda, we have approval of school psychologist intern. May I have a motion? to approve up to two uh, one FTE school psychologist interns at a salary of $9,000 and medical benefits, total of $18,352 per intern. So moved. Are there any comments or questions? I do just have one quick question. Remind me, future risk, I mean, in, in the past, not future risk, have we wanted to be able to get benefits of new or is that something we need to kind of list, make sure that we're ready to report out for this position? I think we have, we have offered single coverage to those people. I've not had one taken yet. They're usually still covered under somebody else's insurance. So I just wondered if it was that we had. We've offered just that. Any further comments or questions? Do we have a roll call, Mrs. Perino? Great. Yes. Huckabee? Yes. Nelson? Yes. Blackman? Yes. Paredes? Yes, and the motion is passed. Next on the agenda, we have approval of board meeting schedule change. And I have a motion to approve the board education meeting schedule change, moving the April 22nd meeting to April 29th. So moved. Second. Are there any comments or questions? We have a roll call, Mrs. Perino. Okay, Nelson. Yes. Briggs. Yes. Blackman. Yes. Huckabee. Yes. Briggs. Yes, and the motion is passed. Uh, next on the agenda, we have transportation contract extension. May I have a motion to approve a two-year extension of the bus service contract with Page Bus Enterprises as presented? So moved. Second. Are there any comments or questions? Uh, I, I just have um, and I don't know we have conferred a lot uh, so far in this past year, so I know that we're, we must be progressing and doing much better. And I know we have a new manager or a new person that was selected um, on the occasions we have. So we will continue no matter how the contract is, no matter how low we may be, we will watch, watch the efficiency of service that we're providing to the students and continue to keep our pulse on that. I'm just hoping I would say we're actually being a little bit more aggressive, uh, trying to monitor buses in real time using GPS. You know, Fran has activated software that allows us to see where all of our buses are. Uh, we're meeting, uh, when I say me, I mean <laughs> Fran, is meeting with the company to review our routes. You know, we have part of the opportunity that you have certainly in, a, in an elementary district, is to do whatever you can to bend over backwards to help families out, move stops, and all those things. The flip side of that is that you can end up with a patchwork of bus stops. 
and that can create some inefficiency. So right now we're looking at all the routes, looking at all the different stops, trying to make sure that we're offering the best service to our families while just organizing the routes in better ways. The focus, if you've looked at the report, um, and I know you have, but you know, there's about maybe one route worth of savings in there. Yeah. The real win though is time. Right, so organizing the routes in a better fashion so the kids are in school on shorter routes if possible, it just making more sense for a family. So that's where the focus in, in pages really respond to positively. Great, I just want to make sure that, um, you know, definitely I know and my children attended Parker and especially, you know, last year, and sometimes folks don't know that they have to come out late and kids mm -hmm. are already at the yeah. south getting their way. So, like you said, family can't do the kids upon that. I agree. I'm not perfect yet. Yeah, yeah, no. I have a question. On the last page, um, there's a note about charter trips that are canceled less than 24 hours prior to the start of the trip. So it's just a six dollar cancellation fee. And then there's something, I think that must be a typo. The trips that involve us were between 2 to 3.30. I'm not sure. But my question is the flip side, if they're late, or if they, if they prefer an academic or athletic charter, is there something in the contract that says we get our money back, or there's a, I just want to make sure it's fair on both sides, because I know that buses have been late, especially for field trips. So is that? Yeah, and, and I've been working with them on some of this, too, because I'm looking at some of those volumes. Doesn't match, no. Yeah, I just want to make sure, I get, I understand on their end why they want this in there, but. It feels like we have to cover ourselves too if they don't get. Uh, we use Page to move the kids from the elementary school to the junior high for like orchestra too, right? Yeah. I know that that there, there's some hardiness in that too. So I just want to make sure that on both ends, you know, if this is in here on our end for if we cancel, then it feels like we need to make sure that if they're late or they, they don't fulfill their duty the way that they should, especially when it impacts kids like going to a field trip or orchestra, then that needs to, we need to know what happens in the same financially. I would also comment that um, we've not particularly had about the 10% cost increase. It seems like the school buses companies in general get away with this in general have with the right? So we don't, it, you know, we can't absorb 10% increases every two years. There's, there's no way our operating budget can sustain that. But that's essentially what they do, right? And then they figure in the next few years, they more people will forget, they'll come and do the same thing. They'll throw their hands up and say, it's not our fault, you know, economy, whatever. But somehow, magically, their costs are increasing it, you know, four or five times what the CDI is for everybody else. Um, if the quality it is not there over the next few years, I, I, I personally would not hesitate to ask you to get rid of them. Okay. Yeah. They better deliver. In two years from now, they better not come to us as we run 10%. Well, I would say within the, in, in two years, we just go to bid. I mean, that represents five years with the company. This board is really focused on, yeah, we love our relationships with our vendors, but at some point, we need to go out and make sure that we're getting the best cost. Mm -hmm. So I think that'd be 100% appropriate. <clears throat> and We'll hold their feet to the fire. I think we've done a really good job through parent voice, through administrator voice, through you know, Fran and certainly me, and even the board. We've helped Paige understand how important of an issue this is for us and how critical it is to our functioning. And they've responded positively. So we're not going to take our foot off the gas pedal as far as the pressure is concerned. And to <coughs> Karen's point, uh, no one wants to, to swallow that price increase. And I really appreciate Fran doing your due diligence, looking at all of our neighbors, what they're currently paying, what the proposed increases are, the new rates of contracts are being signed, and in order to determine that this is certainly not as cheap as we want, but it's an appropriate contract for the time. Are there any, are any other comments or questions? I just have a, not related, just an observation, and I'm going up and down to HF, they are very aggressive when they drive. I am hoping that children that are on the bus would they are being aggressive. I personally yeah. almost like 
coming out of Parker, they're very aggressive. So I, I'm just hoping that there's no kids on the bus. I, I don't get an opportunity to stop and look because I'm trying not to get hit. But <laughs> I'm hoping there's no kids on the bus. So we'll, we'll definitely look into that. If you get a bus number or anything, we should let you know. Okay. Early system. To that point, points. we actually fired one bus driver this morning for that. Because yeah. I'm like, really? Okay. You, this is your bus. <laughs> <laughs> so. Are there any other uh, comments or questions at this time? Can we have a roll call, Mrs. Brino? Nelson? Yes. Blackman? Yes. 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 Motion is passed. Next on our agenda, we have the approval of the District 161 logo. Okay. Again, I have a motion to approve the new District 161 logo as presented. And can we all marvel yes. at the beauty <laughs> of our new logo? Okay. <clears throat> Second. <laughs> Are there any comments or questions other than adulation of the beautiful <laughs> I mean, it is it's beautiful. I still think, and I know you guys may not agree, that coming out of there a little yellow to emulate the sun in a new day might really set it off. But, you know, I know that may be cost prohibitive because of the simple fact that it may cost more. But just where that little light is and a little sun, a little yellow there, indicating the sun. And I think we did, you know, we talked about it in the past. What yeah, we could do is everyone gets a, a bright yellow <laughs> just put on the sun. <laughs> you know. I mean, because it is, we want to, we want to certainly say it is definitely a new day every day. Sure, that's right. Yeah. Opening books. I, I would just. The world of, of knowledge that books offer. I mean, you know, a lot of other things. So, but it's beautiful. It, you know, it's one of these things, um, if I may digress, um, that I think it's just taken a lot of. <laughs> time and a lot of uh, thoughtful input. Yep. Um, this is something that uh, we really made you know, a very, very honest effort to faithfully get as much input for every single person in the community. I know I personally contacted alumni, um, of, you know, I showed them, you know, I said, I would email them and say, wait a minute, you know, they're like, oh, I love it. You know, <laughs> so this is, this is definitely, uh, a, uh, a labor of love and appreciation from uh, all corners of our community, and I think this is just a fantastic uh, 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 signpost as to where we are now, and certainly where we are heading. So I, I personally agree. Um, would anyone else like to make a comment or ask a question at this time? I'd just like to take one moment to thank Amy Kent and uh, Katie Sullivan, who we spearheaded a lot of this work, but also our community engagement committee. Steve and Carol Levin, and um, we have Sil Baxa and uh, Marie Woods who join us. And we were looking back at logos from the 1960s and the 70s and trying to figure out why we had a genie lamp <laughs> at some point, just to just to get to the point where we could uh, come up with a logo that supported everyone. The only piece of feedback from our last meeting, as far as changes that we did look at that didn't work, I want to make sure we share this. Was it with Parker Junior High, whether it was Mardell Parker or, or who can reflect with the junior high to work visually? And uh, this is our last best recommendation. Love it. Thank you. All right. Uh, well, with that, uh, we have a roll call, Mrs. Burrito. Okay, Blackman? Yes. Nelson? Yes. Huckabee? Yes. Brino? Yes. 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 Great? Yes. Great. Yes, and the motion is passed. Hallelujah. So, um, we, we, the next on agenda is executive session, but at this time, uh, we're going to table this uh, till next time so that John and Michelle can be with us. Um, and that will in no way impact uh, the board work uh, that needs to get done. And so, uh, with that, I will entertain a motion to end open session. Well, all in order. Second. Wow. Really important. All in favor, say aye. 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 All those say nay. Aye. 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 A